Hi everyone, it's story time, and I'm going to read you a book about a friend who is blue and he's a cat. Do you know his name? Did you guess Pete the cat? That's right. Pete the cat is going to play with his dinosaur friends. If you have one of these dinosaur cards with you at home, you can help me tell this story. Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete by James Dean. Cave Cat Pete wakes up early. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Listen, friends. Today is going to be a great day, Pete thinks. But then Pete's bed begins to shake. Oh boy. His bed is shaking. That's because his friend Vinny the Velociraptor is coming to visit. It's a perfect day for a picnic, says Vinny. What a great idea, says Pete. Now, who should we invite? Everyone, says Vinny. Let's do it. Vinny is a velociraptor. He has sharp claws, a pointy mouth, and he is orange. Pete loves picnics and he heads out to invite all his friends. Let's find Pete's friends in the book. Friends. Pete finds his really good friend, Ethel, the Apophosaurus. But Ethel is a really big dinosaur, so Pete needs to climb up this tree, climbs up, 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 up to the top of the tree to speak to her. There's Pete and there's Ethel. Would you like to come to a picnic? Asks Pete. I'd love to, says Ethel. What can I bring? How about a really big salad? Pete says. What a great idea, says Ethel. I'm on it. Ethel is going to bring a salad. It's going to be a big salad for everyone to eat. Pete wanders along the river and he sees T-Rex. T-Rex is playing the guitar. Wanna come to a picnic, says Pete. Yes, says T-Rex. Can I bring my guitar? Yes, says Pete. We can play music. Count me in, says T-Rex. Can I bring Al, the Allosaurus, he's really good on the drums. Yes, says Pete. There's our T-Rex. Let's turn the page.
Pete sees his friend Terry flying in the sky. Hi, Terry. Do you want to come to a picnic? Yes, I would love to, says Terry. Okay, can you take me there? Yes, climb aboard. And so they fly to the picnic. Terry is a pterosaur. Terry flies. Terry has wings that go up and down. There's lots of stickers of all of Pete's dinosaur friends that you can use to make a picture. Pete sees Skip. I think his name is Skip, yeah. He sees his friend Skip walking along and he says, hi Skip, how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Pete, thanks for asking. Skip was sick, he had a cold but he's feeling much better now. Do you want to go to a picnic? Yes, I'd love to. Okay, come with us. And off they go to the picnic. Skip is a stegosaurus. Can you find the stegosaurus friends? Stegosauruses have, they, that's right, they have spikes on their back, right down to their tail. Let's see what other animal friends, what other dinosaur friends Pete will see. While Pete was walking along, uh-oh, he trips and says, ouch. Pete trips over someone's tail. Can you see who's hiding behind the tall grass? I see one, two, and three horns. Did you guess the Triceratops? You're right. The Triceratops has three horns. One, two, and three. They were playing hide and seek. But Pete, you did not see my tail. Oh, I'm so sorry, Pete, says Trini. That's okay, says Pete. I'm all right. Do you want to go to a picnic? Yes, I would love to. Can we play hide and seek at the picnic? Asks Trini. Yes, says Pete. Come along. And so they head to the picnic. At the picnic, friends are making music, playing hide and seek, and getting snack ready. They're getting the picnic ready. Look at all of that salad. That's a really big salad. Everyone is happy. Happy. Uh-oh. T-Rex is not happy. He is mad. I'm hungry, says T-Rex. 
I'm sad and frustrated, says Trini. Everyone keeps peeking when I'm trying to hide. And I don't feel so good, says Spike. Spike is sad. Oh, no. Some of Pete's friends are mad, frustrated, and sad. What should they do? When I'm feeling mad, frustrated, and even sad, taking deep breaths helps me. Can you try it at home? Let's pretend we're smelling flowers. Take a deep breath in and pretend you're blowing out candles now. Let's blow it out. Let's try it again. Smell those flowers and blow out the candle. Deep belly breathing helps me to calm down. I wonder what Pete thinks to do to help his friends. Pete decides to play some music on his guitar with Al. Al's on the drums and Pete is making music. I wonder, do you think the music helped Pete's friends? Let's find out. I'm going to turn the page. Everyone is happy again. We're all having snack. Look at all the animals. Look at all the dinosaurs. Crunch, 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 crunch. This salad is so yummy. Everyone is feeling happy. Happy. And after a snack, everyone plays hide and seek with Pete. Let's see if we can find Pete's friends. There's Trini, the Triceratops with Al. I see Velociraptor hiding there. It's Vinny and Skip. He's hiding. Do you see his spikes on his back? And oh look, who's in, who's in the tree? I see. That's right, it's Terry, the pterosaur. And over here, Who's hiding behind that bush? That's right, it's Ethel, the Apathosaurus. And <laughs> there's our T-Rex hiding behind this bush. I could see his eyes. Can you see his eye? Yep, it's right there. Everyone is happy again. This is the best picnic ever, says everyone. Look, they're all happy. It's so good to have a picnic with all my friends. Thanks, Pete. Friends. Friends. Happy. And my book is all done. Did you enjoy that story? I hope you did. But it's time for me to say bye-bye. Thanks for reading with me, friends. Bye.